Hey, stunning people. My name is Bean, and welcome to the Salt Lake Sessions. Our next artist is one of our Canadian cousins to the north. She garnered fame as a Juno Award nominee, and she has a Tiny Desk concert. It's great. Check it out. This is Kaya Cater. Hi, Kaya. Hi, Bean. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you, too. Thanks for coming in. I'm glad to be here. Yes, fresh off a, of, was five and a half hour drive? Three and a half hour Three drive half. started at six. Oh, geez. Yes. Well, you sound great. Thank you. Yes, so thank, thank you. you for being our early morning session today. Anytime. Where are you from, Kaya? I'm from Montreal, Quebec, originally, but I've moved around a ton. So I've lived in Toronto, um, I went to college in West Virginia, and now I live in Brooklyn. Now you live in Brooklyn. It nice. Is. What brought you to Brooklyn? Um, I think I was just kind of enamored with the scene there. It felt like, the, you know, I could go check out any kind of music that I wanted any night that I wanted, mm. and that was so appealing to me. And I also found that my career was doing slightly better in the States, and so it all kind of coalesced into this, like, little birdie in my ear being like, move to New York, move to New York. And how has it been? What is the scene like in New York for the kind of music that you make? It's really great. I find people are really adventurous there. Mm. Um, there's this really great venue called The Owl in Brooklyn. And 
I don't know. I just I feel like anytime I I can just go see someone one night and like not have any idea who they are and just be truly like inspired by their artistry and the risks that they take and I feel like the other side of New York is that people work out a lot of material there Mm -hmm. you know you see people performing it on the road when it's all polished but it's nice to see like when it's in its raw stages Mm -hmm. and I don't know I feel a lot more comfortable being kind of like imperfect and trying things and taking risks when I'm there Mm. because I feel like there are so many incredible artists around me who are doing the same thing so I don't feel as alone Mm. yeah New York is a safe space for that kind of rough draft yeah thing and especially like New York musicians performing rough draft is still at such a high level it's like yeah and that's a little annoying sometimes okay I get that this is like your first time performing this song sure <laughs> but so you sound good. perfect and i hate you <laughs> yeah. yeah no do you come from a musical family yeah i do um my grandfather built guitars and harpsichords and viola da gambas wow. um his whole life and him and my grandmother were boomers like back to the land kind of people and they were super into joni mitchell and neil young and they kind of like trickled that down through like my mom and my aunt and now me and my aunt is a songwriter and growing up I really idolized her and you know looked up to her and thought she was such an amazing singer and so I think it was cool to have that kind of like model in the family Mm. yeah I love that yeah did you write with her ever no, I didn't, but I covered one of her songs mm. on one of my first, my second album. Um, she wrote a song in French, and I loved it so much that I covered the song. And so I would, it was cool because I would get to talk about her every night on mm. stage. That's yeah. so sweet. Yeah. What is something that you think is unique to growing up in Canada that is translated into the way that you pursue your music in the States? Mm, that's a great question. I love everybody I met from Canada, by the way. I have yet yeah. to meet someone that I don't enjoy from Canada. Oh, that's good. So yeah. we're, we're like batting a thousand. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I think that, at least the way I grew up, I feel like my family uh, and other musicians I know had, had really big ears. So meaning that, like, we would listen to tons of different styles of music. My mom fell in love with old time music and bluegrass through the Oh Brother Where Art Thou soundtrack. Mm, Um, And that's how we kind of transitioned from this like Canadiana, Neil Young, Joni Mitchell stuff to like me playing banjo and listening to Gillian Welch and things like that. Um, And so I think one thing about growing up there is I, we didn't just listen to music from there. We would listen to like Cote d'Ivoirean music or Cape Verdean music or um, you know British folk music, and I feel like it gave me kind of a lens into so many other cultures, mm-hmm. um, and I felt so comfortable like traveling and exploring, even if I was from this like pretty you know geographically large but really kind of small country Canada has the equivalent of the population of California (laughs) so it's like pretty tiny Mm -hmm. so that was cool Mm, I love that I'm like very fascinated by that I just think that I grew up in the wrong place I wish I grew up in Canada where did you grow up Pennsylvania okay which is not far yeah but you know it is what it is (laughs) who would you say are some artists that are kind of coming up in the scene with us that you think everybody should listen to oh that's a great question i'm gonna think about it for a second think about it we got time so my good friend lizzie no is a is, is an amazing songwriter i think that she's incredible and she has a new record coming out uh called half seas that i have the privilege of like having listened to the secret link and i think it's incredible so she's amazing um Elisa Amador. I don't know if Elisa's on the come up though. I feel like she's like she's, she's up. She's up. She's certainly on some she's, plateau. She's, she's on, on some, some hill. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, not um, a plateau, but some hill. She's definitely God. She's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. And her music makes me cry mm-hmm. every time. Mm-hmm. And you sing with her and are her <laughs> friends. So you know all about her. Um, yeah. Who else? Judy Blank is this great artist from the Netherlands, mm-hmm. who writes like pop folk um and taylor ashton is another great 
artist from Brooklyn and they write like folk pop as well and they have a new album out called Stranger to the Feeling mm. and I can't stop listening to it. Noted. Yeah. I think I met I'm pretty sure I met Taylor at Passim. Probably. Which is cool. Yeah. We'll talk about that. Yeah. But those are great. Thank you. Of course. What would you say is unique about your project that's different from other people that are in a similar space? Hmm. I would say what's unique about my project is that it's ever shifting. Hmm. Um, I do my best to uh, put a twist on most things. So if I have if I put a band together, it's not just going to be like a bass player, a drummer, and a guitar player. Um, my upcoming record has no electric guitar at all, which was kind of intentional to see um, how I could make the like Americana folk genre work with more percussive sounds, mm. you know, than melodic sounds. And so I think I'm always really curious about what else I can do, how I can sort of turn things on uh, their ear and bring like a different perspective to the music. Mm, I love it. And I hear that. And what you're doing is very fresh. And I, I can answer that question, but it's nice to hear you answer that question as well. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in five years? How can I help you manifest? Oh, my God. I yes, know. I would We're love some help manifesting. <laughs> um, we need to break out the tarot card. Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. I'm very into that. Yeah. Um, I see myself being a better, more skilled musician. I see myself performing for... Um, audiences who know me and like my music seems very basic but <laughs> they they feel lo like like lofty goals um and i see myself worrying less mm. and enjoying my life and my career mm. more and just being like happy in the flow what do you worry about i think i worry about what everyone worries about which is like i think we're Permanently, a lot of us are in this growth mindset. Mm. So it's like, well, I have this now, but what? How else can I get this or that? Or I think the the tricky thing is that sometimes it moves into this really negative space, which is like you only see people in terms of their usefulness to you. Mm. Um, and I think in our mm. careers, it's really hard, especially at conferences. Like you and I were just at the Americana Fest conference, mm. where you really feel like you're kind of competing with hundreds of other artists mm. for the currency of attention mm. um and so i think like i would love to be more more and more centered as i get older and worry less about that stuff like are people gonna pay attention to me are people gonna like me are they mm. gonna you know am i gonna grow is everything gonna you know get better and yeah i think that i would ideally in five years have let go of a lot of that mm. I know, hear that. And just be like present with the people that are present with me. Mm, totally. There's definitely a fine line between navigating the industry space, yeah. which unfortunately we kind of have to. Yeah. And also still trying to like maintain your love for the art, you know? And so I, I totally get that battle. That battle resonates with me a lot. Yes. I have to separate a lot as well the craft from the performance. And it's like you can always pursue the craft of writing and shredding and trying to be a better musician. but for me, not letting that limit how I can perform or how we can still like exist on stage just because there's somebody next to me that can play so much better, you know? Yeah. Is there's a fine line there. So, so true. I'm with you, I'm with you. Well, I hope that you worry less. I'm not worried about you. And I'll manifest your goals as well and we can like throw some energy in there and it'll be good. Thanks, Bean. Yeah, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. I'm gonna give you a squeeze. Build my drink on 
to the internet Everything twitched and was gone It was gone Who am I now without the internet? I'm not the saint The fiend The stupid machine Liking likes Like I should like circling the internet but never enough to touch to feel any rush out beyond the pull of the internet oh how I long to judge Hey stunning people, if you want to get into the salt lick groove, head over to our channel page and get clicking. Tons of good stuff.